like this. What's up, cuz? How's it going? Yeah, I can uh, pull through to Wicker Park for a couple hours. I may have to run up to Montrose Beach at some point today to shoot a dance video, but I've got some time. Yeah. Yes, dude, in fucking December. <laughs> Shit. Well, I mean, you know exactly what'll bring me outside. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool, cool. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hit you up when I'm 15 minutes away. Sounds good. I'll see you soon. All right, later, cuz. Hey there, guys. How's it going? Elder Shannon here. And wow, we're already at episode three. Um, I just want to take this time to thank you all so much of your uh, support of the series and of uh, past work that I've put out these past several months. Really, really appreciate it. Keep watching. And I promise I'm just going to keep evolving and growing and improving. And the work is just going to keep getting more and more dope. So thank you guys very, very much. And keep tuning in. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, several people that made this whole process possible. Um, I want to start off with uh, the cast and my special guests. Uh, the cast of uh, Chris Avant, uh, my cousin Mikey. Uh, AKA uh, Charlie Newport. Um, yeah, I, I want to thank uh, my special guest, uh, El Guapo, uh, in the series. Uh, he's titled as Chef Dapo for the uh, holiday cooking series. Bro, thank you so, so much for the segment. Um, really appreciate you. And uh, another person that I want to uh, reach out and thank. Oh, Patrick. My friend Patrick. My best friend Patrick. Uh, I want to thank him very much. Uh, I'm going to give him uh, credit on screen for the tequila ad. Um, we were, ironically enough, in his living room uh, drinking tequila when uh, he came up with the idea. And I said, you know what? I'm going to use that. So, uh, Patrick, thank you so much. My, uh, my special guest collaborator uh, for this series. Probably the biggest shout out of all, uh, Robin Chaplick. Um, thank you so so much for being a mentor and such a great friend uh, throughout my acting career and throughout the years that uh, I've known you uh, you've you've uh, helped me out uh, professionally and personally more than you could know so thank you so so much I really appreciate you I, I hope you're enjoying the series and um, I'm gonna have uh, more dope stuff uh, coming up so I'm going to be coming to you for more advice soon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far. We've got some dope stuff planned out for the future. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hoping to finish this off strong or finish it off with a bang. It's a call back to episode one if you guys have been watching. I'm, I'm going to go now. Fucking quit fucking dance, bro. <laughs> What's up with that? And it's 
I need to just find time to find something new to do. Honestly, it's mm -hmm. it's it hasn't it hasn't been working out that well. I'm not even sure if I want to get into the like nitty gritty details of it all, but like fucking. I don't know, it might be easier to do something else. And that's not a bad thing. Like, I, don't know, it, man. I had a good time. I. I don't know, bro. You're always really good at it from what I've seen, bro. Dude, kinda, I swear kinda, to God. It's kind of fucked up that you're just fucking. Here, here's just the thing. Quitting, bro. Here's the disturbing thing about it. You ask anyone who's ever watched me dance, like, whether it be, like, in high school or, like, super small town in Evanston. Uh -huh. But, man, I guarantee if you asked any of my contemporaries in the Chicago dance community, they... I don't know. If you asked my former teammates, they probably have different things to say about me. So, it's... It sucks. You have to get the bottom of this car checked out. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> but, yeah. If you ask them, they probably have some different shit to say about me. And... I don't know. Maybe they're fucking right. Maybe... I don't know. I just feel like this whole thing's kind of rejecting me right now. I don't know, bro. I'll give you some good advice that, uh... That I heard from one of my boys about my situation. Because you know how I... You know, I'll be making the musics and stuff like that. But... Just keep going, bro. You just gotta keep going. Like, what if tomorrow was the day that, you know what I mean, that you fucking buzz off off of this shit, pop <laughs> off off of this shit, you know what I mean? It literally could be tomorrow. And if you quit today, like, you know what I mean, you can't get to tomorrow. So, that's my advice on that shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Are you tired of constantly racking your brain for that perfect holiday gift for your loved ones? Introducing the Santa's Mystery Wish Box. If you look inside, you'll find everything you've ever wanted on your wish list. Maybe it's the brand new PlayStation 5. Maybe it's the new smartphone that you don't need, but you want so bad. Or maybe it's a brand new partner to bring home for Christmas dinner. That'll keep the family from asking you when you'll finally get married. Santa's Mystery Wish Box, available everywhere and nowhere. Sense of imagination required. You're about to do a video? Yep, yep. Over by uh, Montrose Beach. Oh, yeah? Yep, yep. You're going to Montrose Beach? Beach? Beach. <laughs> I don't know if you know where the, uh, <clears throat> that, like, stone slab is. Kind of like, so it's like the beach, and then they uh, have this, like, like stone slab. Something like it. They, they, they almost have, like, little wedges, but it's like a stone platform. Okay. And... I haven't been to Montrose in forever. It's a dude, it's dope as hell. If you stand on that stone platform, you can like see like the way I have a vision for the video, it's me, and then this the skyline is gonna be like right off to the side. So it's like off centered. So it's me doing my thing, but you have this like pretty portrait here off to the side, and it's like me like almost dancing within a portrait. That's kind of like the vision so far. Damn, that's gonna be dope. When the fuck when are you gonna do that? It's gonna be cold, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be pretty cold. But it, it'll be worth it. I I did a thing at uh, Northwestern that was like 20 to, and the thing we did with uh, Stasi, it was like 20 degrees out. You don't uh, remember when it? you did the Motorola Razor? Yeah. Was that for that yep, music yep. video? Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah, I remember that. Dude, that was yeah. That I was never intense. even got to really see it though. I'm mad. I kind of want to just remake it. Yeah. Low key. Yo, why the fuck are you wearing glasses, bro? All right, so I stopped at this shop on Belmont, right? Okay. They have like these really cool, like clear framed, like clear framed glasses, and I just, I don't know, figured I'd try them out. I don't think so. Are you serious? Like I think. I don't think they're hitting right, bro. I, I'm digging them. I don't them. think so. I'm I'm about to have to put you on the grill, bro. <laughs> no, I was bro, all right. I mean, <laughs> I have to find the outfit with them. 
Dude, I've got a maroon freaking blazer. We'll go great with this. All right, you're gonna flame me, but watch, they're, they're gonna be know, dope. Man. If you say so, bro. Um, you wanna see it? What? The dance that I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. See how it looks? Hell yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs>